Well, it is back, back from the liberal bastions of Boston and Brooklyn. What we have today reintroduced in Congress uh, is what I call the Green New Disaster. Uh, we've seen it before, and they're doing this right as the economy is recovering from the pandemic. So it's very interesting that if, you know, if you're somebody that pays taxes, that heats your home, that uh, drives a car, you're going to end up paying more under the Green New Deal introduced today by Ed Markey and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. They're going to change the way we use energy in the United States, the forces, the, the sources of energy we've used over the last uh, history, and for the next 10 years will change dramatically. Uh, we're going to be dealing with things called climate justice and punishing regulations and much higher taxes. On average, people who, in terms of their energy, family, use costs, will go about $3,800 a family. But Biden's positions already, because of his executive orders, have driven up energy costs. The cost of a gallon of gasoline is up about 50 cents a gallon since Inauguration Day. And the Green New Deal isn't just about uh, costs on things. It's a major expansion of government a change in the energy that we use, loss of many of our freedoms. I don't, don't know what it is about the Democrats that they just aren't happy with America's energy successes. And as a result, they're willing to kill about a million good-paying jobs and kill our ability to have low-cost energy. And it's interesting because this is at a time, even through the entire Trump administration, U.S. emissions of, of uh, carbon dioxide have continued to go down. And the United States only contributes about 15 percent to the global carbon dioxide. So we know what we want in terms of energy. We want it to be clean, affordable, reliable, and available. We want to make, as Republicans, we want to make energy as clean as we can, as fast as we can, and do it in ways that don't raise costs on American consumers. And the way to do that is through innovation, not through regulation, mandates, and higher taxes.